Hey, and welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. I'm Linus, and today I have a very special guest with me, my good friend Torbjörn Frisk. Hello, Linus. Welcome, Torbjörn. Thank how, you. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well. It's a, my pleasure to be here. Yes, yeah. you're very welcome. Today we're going to have Torbjörn here show us some EQ tips. We're going to try to comp- compress it so that it doesn't go way too long. We're going to focus on vocals today. To help you guys to uh, visualize what we're talking about, we brought this guy in here. An it's old an analog, uh, analog EQ. Yeah, but, but graphically it's the same as when you use the exactly. uh, software. So this is, this is a two-channel guy. Yeah. It goes from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. Uh, just so you guys yeah. follow what we're doing. That's the hearing range. Yes. Uh, normally, at home, you maybe have bass uh, and high. And treble or whatever, yeah. yeah. But there are many more frequencies. Yes. Uh, from the bass or yeah. the way up. Roughly 20,000. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and here I can maybe hear up to here. When I was 20 years, I could hear here up yeah. here. Yeah. And you too. Yes, <laughs> sadly. <Yeah. laughs> uh, but the most of the f- frequencies are at the mid-range. Yeah. About 90% of what we hear is mid-frequencies. No, oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Mm. And usually on TV, it's, it, it cuts even more, so it's yeah. even more important that you... Yeah, like in a telephone. Like on a telephone, yeah. yeah. Uh, so... We brought this guy today. Yeah, this is it's a true. microphone, and uh, normally... When I work with a vocalist, mm. I start to cut a low cut below 80 or 90 hertz. Yeah, just cut that off. Yeah, I cut this off. Yeah, and why is that? Yeah. Because it's a lot of energy that isn't heard, mm. but it is it's eating my meters. Yeah. Uh, and I want to have some output, and therefore I cut this. It's not necessary. No. It just make trouble. Yeah, 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 no, it's just noise that you can't hear anyway yeah. afterwards. And, and, and then also it's depending on where I have the microphone. Mm-hmm. If I'm here, it's not that much low energy. Mm-hmm. If I'm very close, it's a lot of low energy. That's right. The proximity effects when I come proximate. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the next area, area I go for, for male, we, we talk about the body mm. uh, sound. For male, is about 200 hertz, and for female, about one octave above. It's 400, 400 hertz. Yeah. yeah. So then I cut 200, maybe. Normally, I do this uh, on software, but it's the same here. Yeah. But sometimes I don't cut so much here, but I cut some more here. If I want to have a bassy sound, yeah. but not a lot of energy, I take out a little bit from the body, or for female, 400. Yeah, yeah. Should be there, mm. uh, 300, 400. So, yeah, and yeah. I can add a little bit here. And it's always better, according to me and many, to cut instead of add. Yeah, you told me before that it's, it's one of the standards for you guys, basically, that it's yeah. better to cut away frequencies than add on the frequencies. Yes, because it sounds better. Mm. That's that's a good tip. Yeah, um, and then also uh, sometimes uh, both with vocals and other sources, about six hundred to eight hundred somewhere mm. is a lot of energy that will mud the mix. Yeah, so it sounds very muddy if you haven't taken those away. Yeah, so sometimes, but especially with the instruments mm. or, or the whole mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I scope out a little bit there. And then we come to the consonants. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's between 2,000 and 3,000 hertz, 2 to 3K. Yes. And if I want to hear more of the presence, mm-hmm. when I talk especially a little bit low, I can add some, maybe 2.5. But it's more common that the sound is harsh. Okay. And when the, it's harsh... Take away instead. I take away here instead. Oh. And I know some microphones, uh, one, one of the microphones I use most when it comes to vocals is uh, Shure SM7B. That's like a great microphone. Yeah. 
But to me and my, my, many others, it can be a little bit harsh, mm. at 2.5 or between 2 and 3K. Mm. So I direct, cut out a little bit. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Know, you know your equipment, yeah. you know I'm going to be cutting here. Yeah, at least I'm prepared to. Yeah, you can add again. Yeah, and then finally, now, uh, I said I normally take out, but at the top I can add some. Usually add some at yeah. the top, yeah. To give some air. Okay. Yeah. That's good. But but everything is uh, depending on what what vocalist it is, and yeah, also the microphone and where the microphone is. Yeah, I mean, it might not look perfect if you have misplaced the microphone. No. If, if, if someone has the microphone here. Yeah, it'll sound terrible. Then, then I uh, need to take up here and add some presence to, to be able to hear. It's going to be a mess. And, and down with the, all the noises. Yeah. 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 And I know from experience, uh, when, when you're EQing someone that you know, it's way easier if you know that person's voice. So if you're going to be doing an interview, if I were going to interview yeah. Toby and I'm going to EQ it later, I know Toby's voice. Yeah. So I'm gonna be. I know when I when I sit in the edit suite, I can be like, oh yeah, no, yeah. That, that sounds like Toby. Uh, there you go. And now I, I know I did it yeah, right. Yeah, and I know I have a lot of 2.5k. Yeah. So so when I mix myself, I normally yeah, yeah out with yeah. that. Yeah. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> no more. No no no. Yeah. Because I don't want to have a harsh sound. It must be naturally. Yeah. Uh, and roughly on on because uh, it doesn't really look like this on audio boards usually, right? No. Normally it's... you have high and uh, you have some sweep filter yeah. so that you can maybe take on two between two and three k, uh, and you ha have those uh, uh, special frequencies. Yeah, like a low cut, yeah, a high cut, low cut. Yeah, some... but if you. If you just work with one frequency, mm. go with the low cut. Yeah. And be very careful with the EQ. Yeah, well, like on this microphone we got here. Yeah. We actually got a low cut on the microphone. We have that. And, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but if we turn this guy on and then we go one step up, we have a low cut already into yeah. this microphone, which and is that helps. very nice. Yeah. If you're because just going to record into. We, we want to have as the sound should be as ready as it can be before. Get into the computer, yeah. whatever we record with. Yeah, and yeah. like like you've told me before and many times over, less is more. Less is more. Be Definitely. careful, yeah. except low cuts. You can always low cut. Cut it off. Yeah, cut it off. Not always, but almost always. That's good. That's good if advice. you do that, that's eighty percent of the mix. Yeah. So yeah. this this is this is vocals. Yeah. Do you want to go quickly uh, some instruments? How they differ? Yeah, uh, w when recording uh, bands and especially with electronic instruments, mm -hmm. uh, is a lot of e energy in. I can take the other <laughs> here now. Yeah, <laughs> about two hundred hertz is a lot of energy in electronic instruments, electric guitar, a bass, yeah. especially synthesizer pad sounds. Yeah, it's a lot of energy in two hundred hertz. I used to. Scoop it out. Okay, okay. To, and to why not get it muddy? Yeah. So if it, so, it's roughly muddy around 200, 400, 600 range. Two hundred, uh, sometimes also six hundred. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, you don't want if you have a big band, guitar, two guitars, a bass, yeah. drums, yeah. And three vocalists. Yeah. You don't want them all to be on the same frequencies. No. And the vocalist, as I said, I normally cut here. Be below 80 or 90 yeah. or 100, but if it's a big band, uh, I maybe take 150, 200 and look okay. at because it's uh, get the pronunciation and yeah, the, it's, it's the total of the whole uh, signal. Yeah, the bigger picture. Yeah, the bigger picture yeah. is not not only the vocalist. There is the whole band, including the vocalist, and you have that low energy in other instruments. Okay, yeah. And if you add that, it will be muddy. Yeah, if everybody's on the same. Yeah, it yeah. will be muddy. Okay, so okay. Sco scoop out some frequencies. And that's roughly around yeah. 200 and 600. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, wow. that's my best tips for... Uh, best tips for no, EQ. Yeah, EQ, and uh, normally we, we're talking with vocalists because that's what we 
That's work usually what with. everybody works yeah. with. Even if you're only doing a little interview or if you're yeah. doing talking an update video, whatever. Yeah. You, or if you work with a band, you know. But it's always someone with or, or vocals. Was there. Yeah. yeah. So that's. It's, but be careful. Be careful. But less is more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, wow. Thank you, Torbjörn. Thank you, Linus. Don't forget to like and subscribe this on this video. Don't forget to share it with all of your friends. We want your friends to be our friends. Hope you guys learned something today and don't forget to watch the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.